back for part two of lenses. So today I'm gonna do a converging lens. Last time we'd seen a real image from the converging lens. This time we're gonna see a virtual image. And just like with mirrors, when we have an object close into the lens, closer than the focal, that's gonna be your cue to say, ah, oh, this is gonna be a virtual image. We have the same three rays as before. So let's do those three rays. We have one that goes out mm, parallel to the axis. And then as soon as it hits that center, it goes through the focal length. All right, so we've got one that leaves the lens like that. There's another one that goes, okay, here's the one where we have to be careful again. It goes object and focal. So you have to line up, instead of going from the object to the focal to the mirror, you're just lining up the three things, the object, the focal, and the mirror. So this light ray is going to come out like that. And then when it leaves the lens, oops, I said mirror, sorry, I meant lens. It leaves the lens, oh boy, <laughs> going out parallel. Our third ray is the easy one, right through the center of the lens. All right, here we go. So there's number three. That one leaves it. And we see that these three rays that leave the lens are never going to meet on this side of the lens. So we're gonna do just like we did with mirrors. We're gonna backtrace these three and I can see that they're gonna meet up around here somewhere. Here we go. We're gonna backtrace those three. So this one just needs to keep going back a bit. And I like to do the dashed lines to remind myself that this is virtual. The light rays don't actually meet up here. Pink one goes like that. Oh boy. And again, I don't care about this one. I care about the light rays that leave the lens. So this one is the one I backtrace. Whoa. All right, we'll see how good this ends up being. I'm guessing not very. <laughs> try it. We'll try it. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Good, good, good. Here we go. We have all three rays being backtraced and meeting up right here. So this is my image. And here is my object. Now, light rays that get refracted through the lens do not actually, aren't, aren't bending on this side of the lens. So this is a virtual image. The light rays don't actually meet here. They are going to the right and they're scattering off. Our brain, if we're standing here, our brain says, oh, there's a light ray coming from here. It, or, or in this direction, it, it must be coming from here. So this is a virtual image. This is a virtual image. You put a screen here, you will not see anything. We can do exactly the same stuff as before. We can figure out our calculated and our measured DI. DO is, DO, that one, inches. So 14 centimeters, I'd say. And my focal, I need a bigger measuring device. Oh, 30, okay. 30 centimeters. We have DO and F. We can calculate what our image distance should be. One divided by one divided by F minus one divided by DO. And I'm really hoping for a negative because it's a virtual image, we should get negative. Yes, good. Calculated DI, I get negative 26 centimeters. Let's measure it. 26 centimeters, that should fit here. Okay, so lens to image. And, well, 25, we're not too bad. DI measured, negative 25. And that negative, I have to include that myself. I have to put that negative there myself because I say, oh, virtual image, the light rays don't meet there. I had to backtrace them. So that is something that I put in based on knowing the physics. This negative comes out from the math. So they're about, about the same. And we can do the same thing with HO, HI calculated, 
and HI measured. And to get this, we need to know the magnification. M minus DI over DO minus DI, calculated is what I prefer, over DO, 14. All right, magnification is positive, 26 over 14. Uh, 1.9? About 1.9. What does a magnification of positive 1.9 tell me? The positive tells me it's not inverted. It's the object and the image are on the same side. 1.9, it's bigger than 1. That tells me that the image is taller than the object, very clearly, and it is almost twice as tall. So those match up. This has two different physical meanings, and they both match with my ray diagram. HO, oh, I've got to measure that. HO, how tall is my object? Uh, from here to here is six, seven, eight centimeters. So HO has a positive eight, it's above. HI calculated is magnification times HO times eight. And we get a positive, for calculated, we get a positive 15 centimeters just about twice my original height, yeah. Let's measure it and see how tall it is. So from here to here, I get 15 centimeters. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. Good, good, good. Okay, so here we have a virtual image from a converging lens. It's virtual because the light rays that go through the lens, that get refracted through the lens, don't actually meet here. We have to bring them back and excuse me, and they meet up here, but only in our mind's eye, not on a piece of paper back here. That virtual image means that DI has to be negative, and it is. My calculated and measured image distances are about the same. My calculated and measured image heights, about the same. Magnification makes sense in terms of the positive and the number. And so we've got it. We're done. So there's converging lenses, virtual images. Good job.